what's good youtube family welcome back to another video so as a day trader i've always been a set of strategies that work day trading strategies basically so here in this video i'll be teaching you guys a profitable strategy that i've been able to develop over the years this is a simple price action strategy a break and retest strategy basically which a beginner trader can use an intermediate trader or an advanced trader so as a day trader i work with specific time frames that means time frame and the one hour time frame basically so all we are doing is identifying the market levels and zones on these two time frames. So we are working with the 30 minute time frame on this index, which we got some interesting levels. Remember, this is a break and retest strategy. So we are identifying levels that got broken and retested for our entry. So on the 30 minute time frame, we got some levels which we have to focus on basically at look at three opportunities on. We got one of those levels here being a level of resistance, and we got another level here as well. A level of support a higher level at this point as well these are our zone of focus here basically so we got this last level of resistance we got an intermediate level and we got this level of support so this first level we got has been a level that price has always reacted on so firstly we got the market buy on this level gave the buys on this level as a support there we got this level broken as a resistance we got the first sales second sales before we got price break above this level so at this point a break and retest has happened whereby we saw a level of support that got broken and retested on the resistance for the sales which price still came to give a retest on as a support so we didn't get a neat test of this level but we saw price sell to this zone then pushed up again as a support which you've seen the market buy on this level a couple of times as a support getting the second buy here support support at this point and the last buy is here as a support so after we got this last buy we saw price break above this level this zone we have seen price sell on as a resistance getting a couple of cells here resistance resistance here as well resistance at this point and the last resistance here so on seeing price buy from this level our interest would automatically be waiting for buy opportunities if this level of resistance can be broken turn support and the market did exactly that we got this level of resistance broken and retested turning this level of resistance to a support level for the buys so this level of resistance turns to a support level after we got price buy on this level right so afterwards the market still came back to the same level you can see price dropped to this level and gave little buys before price pushed below this level indicating that the buyers lost their buying strength in the market because they couldn't push price further away from that level after we got the retest price just pushed up a little bit then broke below remember this was previously a level of support then price failed to give the proper buys and we saw the bears coming to the market to push price below this level then a retest followed up turning this level of support to a level of resistance which we got the sell to the downside and initially we got a level of support here which price has been reacting on so seeing the market seeing price retest this level as a resistance and gave the sales since this level failed to hold as a level of support for the buyers the market retested this level and gave the sales so on how price was selling our interest should now be what on the buy side of the market because we got a previous level of support here a historical level so we would buy this index from this point so imagine you waited for price to sell to this zone they are making good money from the buys to the upside which you can see how far price has bought on the market testing this level and currently price has failed to reject from this level as a resistance giving the sales because possibly some traders will be looking out for sell opportunities on this level so price failed to sell on this level as a resistance but instead we got price broke past that level got the break to the upside so now this level has been broken no longer a level of resistance but a level of support because market is trading above this level and following up is an order block formation on the 15 minutes time frame which we can also see that the market created a bullish reversal pattern formation getting an inverted head and shoulders pattern formation on this zone so we got price create the left shoulder here the head at this point and the right shoulder basically so we're working with these patterns as well adding to these levels that got broken and retested for our entries so we got price retest this level and we're getting the buys so if the market can actually push down a little bit to give a retest of this level 
we'll be seeing more buys on this index because this is no longer a level of resistance but a level of support because price is trading above this level so a test of this zone will be getting the buys and the retest of this zone as well will be giving the retest of this bullish reversal pattern formation this inverted head and shoulders pattern formation at this point so this is a simple price action strategy for day traders just spot the market levels and zones they wait for a retest of these levels also identify the past reactions on this level how the market reacted on these levels previously we can do this on any index spot the market levels on the 30 minutes time frame and on the one hour time frame in some cases the 15 minutes time frame so let's check out vix 100 index to see if the market got some levels on the 30 minutes time frame and on the one hour time frame so on vix 100 index we got the market creates i think we have a level here at this point here yeah, we got a level here and we have another level at this point basically and a level here as well this highs so these are the three major levels we got in this market zone in this current market zone so this first level came from getting market reactions on this level on same price react on this level getting the sales resistance the sales at this point resistance the buys here support that was the first buys which price gave after we had a break out of this level a break and a test of this zone turn this level of resistance to a support level which we got the buy from here price bought right also got the second retest here as a support then we got the buys we got the third reaction here support as well we got the buys right so after we got price buy on this level a couple of times this has automatically turned to a level of support then a new level was formed this point where price has been buying to and rejecting from making this level a level of resistance getting a couple of reactions there is not resistance resistance extending this would see that this level got broken this level of resistance got broken and retested for the buy so imagine taking the buys here after you've identified this level to be a level of resistance on getting two reactions on this zone two sell reactions basically so we got price buy as a support support here as well the second buy supports and this level got broken fake breakout and four price pushed so the break and retest of this level got the buy this is a similar move that we saw on vix 25 index where we got this level like the sellers the buyers failed to push price to the upside after we got this level we got price buy on this level a couple of times as a support the first buy the second buys and the third buys after getting about three buys on a level i think there's no reason to look out for any more any buy opportunities or that level is likely to fail that's what the market did here the fourth buyers we couldn't get the buys because we've got three buyers already so i think the buyers lost their buying strength at this point which price dropped to the downside so price pushing back up we saw market we test this level of support and the sell to the downside was the buyers trying to gather their buying strength to push back price to the upside and the market selling to the downside price actually came to test this level this previous level of support this is just a similar move that we got that we saw on 25 index this level of support which you can see price react on a couple of times price to react on this level as a support level even though we pushed this line up a little bit this to a level of support so price retested this level gave the buys as a broken level of resistance would say turn support for the buys we still got the second buys here price pushed up and a new level was formed which is now what a level of resistance at this point so i'll be looking out for buy opportunities if you can get a proper retest of this level though the market has been reacting on this level we've got the reactions here resistance 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 as well so if you can see price drop back to this level i'm looking for buys because this was a level of resistance that got broken that has been broken right now market is just breaking above this level so a proper retest of this level i'm looking for good buy opportunity on this index and we also got the market in an uptrend an additional confidence basically so applying all of this for additional opportunities you would see great results on your trades so that's this guys that's a simple day trading strategy that i've confirmed to work most of the time so implement this as a day trader and watch out for great results so for more traditions like this do to smash the like button and drop a good comment on this video don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and to my joining viewers i appreciate the support for engaging in my videos it's limited guys let's do more and do have a wonderful day